What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one of Huggies Beer Reviews. Now today we're doing something that I do not usually do, and that's review a light beer. Um, take a good look at what we have here. For those of you who are not familiar with this beer, this is called Medalla Light. This is from Puerto Rico. And no, that's not Medalla, that's Medalla. Remember your Spanish, guys. Double L is a Y sound. But Medalla Light, uh, Medalla means medallion or metal, as in like a gold medal, you know? Um, so Medalla Light, award-winning beer, recognized on three continents, the packaging says. Now, I have been recommended this beer before I ever saw it in the stores. And since it's been available in the South Florida area, I've heard, I've heard good things about it. Um, so I had to try it. Not today, a while back. I've actually, uh, I think I've, I've had at least two six packs of this stuff already. Great for when you're barbecuing. But I never poured it in the glass. I never looked at it. I never really took a good smell at it, you know? So I really still don't know what this beer is all about. The only thing I know is that I tried it and for a light beer, I liked it. I thought that it had flavor. So I wanted to give it the official review and really look at it and really smell it and really see what it's all about with you guys. Um, take a look at the bottle. Props to them for using the brown bottle as opposed to green or clear, which is usually the uh, standard for beers like this. Now, once again, I don't drink light beer. I don't support light beer. I don't recommend light beer. I don't waste my time with light beer because I drink beer to get a buzz or to enjoy good flavors. And light beers have low alcohol, so you're not gonna get a buzz that quick, if at all, and they have no flavor. Um, there are exceptions, and that's why this other bottle is up here. This is the only other light beer that I will spend my hard-earned money on, and that's Presidente Light. Presidente, for you uh, Anglos. Um, Presidente Light, uh, it's from the Dominican Republic. Many people are familiar with the regular Presidente but I actually like the light version. Again, for a light beer, it has flavor, and if I find it on sale, I pick it up occasionally. It's good when you're outdoors, when you're grilling, when you're barbecuing, when you're really just pounding them right out of the bottle. I never thought I would find another light beer that I could actually spend my money on until I found this. And like I said, I had it a few times, and I thought it was good. So today, we're actually going to look at it, and try it, and smell it, and see what's up with it. Now, I would normally punch up Beer Advocate and rate beer, but that would be kind of unfair because this beer is so unknown in the States, it really doesn't have a lot of ratings. Beer Advocate it scores a 71 out of 53 reviews. They're calling it a light lager at 4% alcohol by volume. Um, oops, oh no. I had rate beer open and I think I closed it. Give me a second, I'll load it right back up. Well, it might take more in a second. I'm far from the Wi-Fi. But anyways, Rate Beer. Oh, actually, I won't even bother. Rate Beer says that it's 4.5 alcohol by volume, and uh, it scores like a 1 out of like 17 reviews or something like that. So I think that's a little unfair. Um, I know some people on YouTube have reviewed it and thought it was actually pretty good. Um, my man, uh, Ronald Thierio, Louisiana Beer Reviews, he really liked it. I agree for the most part with his review, but now it's time to do mine. So... Screw Beer Advocate Red Beer. We have a six pack of cold Puerto Rican light beer. Uh, for the record, this is from Compañía Cervecera de Puerto Rico. So, and they're in uh, Mayagüe. Mayagüe, Puerto Rico. Or as some of them might say, Puerto Rico. Anyways, twisting it right off, because it is a twist off. Pouring it in my nice little uh, Pilsner glass here. I guess for presentation value more than anything. And let's see what uh, Medalla Light is all about. Now the first time I had it, I tried to research it, and I found conflicting information. On one end, I read somewhere that it did not contain adjuncts, they did not use adjuncts in brewing this beer. I find that hard to believe, very hard to believe, which is why, and another thing I read, it categorized it as an adjunct lager, but, uh, Matter of fact, let me check the Beer Advocate again, because they usually... Yeah, see? Beer Advocate just has it as a light lager, not an adjunct lager, so that's always good. But you don't know. With beers like this, it's really hard to track down the truth of what's, what's in it, you know? So I don't worry too much about the facts. 
Um, it is a it is a straw color. I have seen beers lighter colored than this, but this is still very light straw, pale straw. A lot of active carbonation and frothy white head. But unlike your typical Budweisers and other light beers, this is not pop fizzy head. I mean, it's barely popping and fizzing. This is not Coca-Cola head. This is not dissipating as quick as, say, a Coors Light would. You know what I mean? So that's that. Let me give myself a little space here. And uh, let's see. Hmm, not a lot of smell to this beer. It smells clean. I get a hint of malt, like a very, very vague, light hint of malt. And something else, and I can't put my finger on. Hmm, yeah. There's a bit of a vegetable smell in there, but it's subtle, it's minor, it's not as pronounced as it is in a lot of the American mass-produced adjunct lagers, or in a lot of the Latin American lagers, which are all adjunct lagers. So, I mean, this is, this is very inoffensive. Hmm. Hear the sirens? Somebody's in trouble. All right. Enough of that, let's drink the damn beer. Salud. going down just like a regular light beer. Fizzy, watery, nothing to write home about. But as you swallow and that little bit of flavor comes up, holy crap, a little bit of malt, a little bit of yeast, a little bit of hops. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a light version of a German Pilsner. Or, um, yeah, yeah, German Pilsner. I, I was thinking Czech Pilsner. I said German, but I meant German. So yeah, you do get a little bit of that yeasty quality of like apple and pear, fruit notes. You get a hint of sweetness, a hint of like, you know, pale malt and then just enough bitterness on the finish to kind of clean it up. This is by no means a craft beer, but you can actually taste the ingredients in here, unlike, again, most adjunct lagers and light lagers. Yeah, and there's nothing offensive. If they do use any kind of adjunct in this beer, whether it be corn or rice or whatever, they do a, they, they either don't use a lot or they do a really good job of covering it up. And I think I do detect a little bit of corn, but it's so mild compared to the light to the light beers that we're used to drinking. Compared to all the Budweisers and Millers and Coors and Coronas and all this adjunct crap, this this is this is barely an adjunct. Um, I mean, I don't recommend pouring this in a glass every single time. I think this beer is still best suited in hot weather, drinking straight out the bottle. But this thing actually has flavor to it. Yeah, this is this this hands down. I may not have reviewed them on camera, but I've had every goddamn light beer out there. From the Buds, the Millers, the Coors, the Natties, the Keystones, Heineken Light, Bax Light, Amstel Light, anything light, I've had it. Corona Light, dear God. Um, and I will tell you right now, in my honest opinion, this right here, this Medalla Premium Light from Puerto Rico, this is the best light beer I've ever had. For a light beer, glass full. You guys know, I, I, I'll call a spade a spade, and I, I don't brown nose and bullshit, but this, this is the best light beer I've ever had. As much as I like this guy here, this is a distant, 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 distant second place. This is the best light beer on the market, in my opinion. So if you can get your hands on it, try it if you're in the mood or the situation where a light beer is called for. And with that said, I think I ran a little long, so I'm going to get the hell out of here. Thanks for tuning in. Medalla Light is a pleasant fucking surprise. And uh, remember, it's Huggiesbeer.com, Huggies Beer on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and Untapped. And stay tuned because there's a lot more coming. Cheers.